So when most people think about their dreams, most in high school, most are college students think about their dream jobs, life after school. And if you're just in the workforce, you're probably just thinking about a way to get out of your nine to five job. So when we first think about our ideal jobs, our ideal dream life, we get really excited, like manifesting, thinking about the life that we will have within our dream job or career. So we start thinking about the blueprint. We start thinking about what steps we can take to get close to it. We start watching YouTube videos on it. So at this point, we're really, really excited when we first think about our idea. When you start your first few steps towards your dream, say if I want to become a day trader, and I start the first few steps. For one month, I joined this Discord, and I'm working towards it. And then I start seeing how hard being a day trader is. I start losing money. And after one month, I stop chasing my dream. I stop becoming focused. I think it's too hard. So then I just drop my focus on it and kind of give up on it. Most people have similar experiences, not just in day trading, but in so many other career paths, such as a specific job, like being a lawyer or going to the NFL or anything that takes a lot of time and dedication. After the first few initial steps, they start losing focus because they realize how much time and dedication it takes. You stop having that drive, you stop having that focus, and you stop having those visions of your life once you achieve your dream. Especially when times get really hard, especially when times get really tough for whatever you're grinding towards. So, why is it that this happens? This happens because most people run on motivation. And motivation, it really runs on emotions a lot. So that's why when someone doesn't feel like doing something, they lose motivation to do something. And especially when it gets hard, they want to take a day off. They're like, okay, my mind, my body need a day off. Or they don't have motivation for that day. And like most people, once they lose motivation, they take days off, weeks off, months off from studying towards working towards their dreams. And with most people, they only get reminded or motivated once they see something that reminds them of it. For example, say if I'm scrolling through Instagram and I see an Andrew Tate motivational video, that's gonna remind me of what I need to do and then keep me motivated for maybe two days. The thing with relying on motivation is it's temporary. Once you give in and stop, you're gonna lose all your progress. So Alan, how do I stay focused on my dreams? Well, frankly, you just need to find a purpose behind your dream. Having purpose is why. Why do you want this? Why do you want to accomplish this? Why do you want your life to be like this? For example, NFL athletes might say their purpose is with God and with their family. They're working very hard because they want to provide something for their family. And they're working very hard because they know God is with them. Another purpose would be an older gentleman with a family that's working towards a promotion at his job. So he's coming in all the time, staying extra hours and just learning new things at his job because he has this purpose to provide for his family, to make more income so that he can give back to his family more. So if you don't have a strong purpose or a strong reasoning to accomplish something, to work towards that dream, that dream job, that dream college, anything that you want. If you don't have a valid and strong reason behind what you're doing, then it's not a high chance that you're going to accomplish that dream. Having purpose is having the need, the need, N-E-E-D, to accomplish something. Meanwhile, just having motivation is just wanting, wanting that life. W-A-N-T, wants. So that's the main difference between the achievers and the dreamers. So if you learn to have purpose within your dreams, every single day you're gonna work towards your dreams. Here's a representation of what working with purpose looks like. You're gonna work towards it every single day. On the other hand, if you're working with motivation, you may be focused today or this week, but in the middle of the week or in the middle of the month, you're gonna take a break and slow down. Here's a representation of what running on motivation looks like. So Alan, how do I start thinking with purpose 
rather than motivation. I have three simple things that I can tell you guys to hopefully get you close to your journey of your dream. So the first thing I had on my list is analyzing your past dream. So be really, really realistic with yourself. What was the reasoning behind why you wanted this goal or this dream to come true? And why you lost motivation towards that dream? Be really realistic with yourself. Now analyze why you even wanted this dream in the first place. Why did you want this job? And what was the reasoning behind it? Think really closely about it because like I said, your reasoning and your purpose is one of the most strongest things when it comes to accomplishing your goals. The second thing I had on my list though, is just build discipline by doing the hard things first. So whether that you're in high school or in college, say if I'm a college student and I have homework, but my friends are going to the gym. The gym is the fun thing to do, but do your homework first because that's the harder thing. That's gonna get your brain to think, do the hard things first. So you're not likely just lose focus. That's gonna help you to build strong habits, good habits. And then in combination with this, start reading success books or habits books that help with your discipline. One good example is Atomic Habits, but just search up some more that maybe you'll like to read. The third thing I had on my list is you need a whiteboard or any a piece of paper. Write down your big goal, what you want to accomplish. Put your big goal down. So say if I want to be a day trader, I can, I can just put, I want to be a day trader. That's the big goal at the very top, like the hitter. And under that, you want to put small steps that you can do to get close to that goal. So for me, if I want to become a trader, first one, I can put, watch YouTube videos on day trading and take notes. The second one is start, use, start using demo trader. And the third one is start my own, get a funded account or use my own money to trade once I'm profitable after maybe three months of trading. So as you can see, it's just step by step of how you can get closer to your dream at the end. These small steps help ease your brain because your brain can get overstimulated when you think about the end goal and you think about how hard it is. But once you break those hard things into smaller steps, it gets easier once you see progress. And then I want you to put this whiteboard or this piece of paper in your room taped up so that you can see it every single day. And last but not least, number four on my list is gonna be the productivity rule. It's the two to one productivity rule, which I like to follow. So for every two hours of productivity time, I have one hour of leisure time. So what that means is for two hours that I'm studying or doing homework or doing something productive, like making this YouTube video, I only get one hour of time to relax, like watching movies, playing a game, hanging out with my friends. This two to one productivity rule will help build your habit and discipline, but it'll also better yourself in life. Because if you're getting twice the amount of productivity done versus your leisure time, you will get better every single day, guaranteed, 1% better towards your dreams, towards your life. It's gonna help your life in general. And human beings live on rules. If you see China, the United States, any big countries, they all have rules, laws that people have to follow. If you set rules and laws for your own life, you'll become just as successful as these big countries. You're putting rules upon yourself so that you can improve yourself as well. All right, and that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for getting to this point. I really appreciate it. And I love making videos like this because I had to apply these things to my own life. I was also procrastinating. I'm supposed to be a day trader right now, but I took time off. So I'm getting back on track now, getting myself focused, locked in. Like I said though, guys, stay focused. I'm always wishing success upon everybody. Please like and subscribe. Have a blessed one. Peace.